Hello guys, welcome to Desire School channel. My name is Milad and if you want to run Lumion faster and improve Lumion performance, watch this video to the end. Lumion is a lovely software to create fast renders. But as you know, Lumio needs high performance system to run smooth and take fast renders. The most basic thing to run Lumio smoothly and increase rendering speed is to upgrade your computer hardware. But this requires a lot of money. Here in this video, I want to show you 7 solutions to optimize Lumion performance that does not cost us anything. But before starting, please like this video and hit subscribe button. Number 1. Optimize your hardware for the best performance. If you are using laptops, there are two things you should do. Set your power option on high performance and after that set your dedicated graphic card as a primary resource for Lumion. Another thing that you should do is update your video card driver. Graphic card producers try to improve performance of the cards in each update, so we should use the last update for the best performance. Number 2. Display setting in Lumion. If you like to fly a smooth around the model in 3D model, you can speed it up by adjusting a few settings. Go to the setting menu, by lowering the editor quality and resolution, you can increase performance and frame rate per second. You can also turn off train and vegetation representation for better performance. Note that these settings didn't affect your final render result, but these settings make Lumion smooth when you are working with the model, especially when you have a big 3D model with lots of objects. Number 3. Using optimized textures. High resolution textures increase the complexity of a model. If you are working on a big model, you don't need to apply high resolution textures to all surfaces of the model. Instead, use the high resolution textures only in the places that they are near the camera and the details of textures are visible. And for the other parts of the model, use the normal size textures. Number 4. Only use necessary Lumion FX and FX. When we want to take render, our goal is to get the most realistic render, but sometimes this process takes so much time. To save time, the suggestion is to skip some of the effects. In order of their importance in saving time, I will mention them here. Global Illumination the number of spotlights you choose in global illumination effect increase the rendering time significantly. So if you want to shorten the rendering time, don't choose spotlights in this effect or choose a few of them. Number 2. Volume Clouds I know these clouds help you to make very atmospheric renders. But these clouds make your render so slow. Use this effect only when you have no other option to present the atmosphere of your render scene. Number 3. Hyper light. This effect helps to create a better lighting in a scene, but you can skip this effect and still have a realistic render in a shortened time. Reflection. Reduce the number of reflection planes have you added to this effect. You can ignore the reflection of unnecessary surfaces and still have a nice render. A skylight. These effects make your scene very realistic, but when you don't have time for render, set this effect render quality to normal or turn this effect off. This effect is my last option for make Lumion renders faster. 5. Install Lumion on SSD drive. If your computer have a SSD drive, install Lumion on SSD drive and place 3D model files of your project on this drive. By doing this, Lumion works faster because of SSD drive speed. Number 6. Optimize your 3D model for Lumion. I know this sounds obvious. 
but with years of experience as a visual artist, I realized that often the best thing to speed up Lumion is to optimize the model. The number of polygons in your scene and how many different textures are used determine the complexity of a model. For example, a scene with many different models will render a slower than a scene with a lower amount of models. So if you are in a rush to render a scene, you should avoid using many different models from the model library. Here are some tips to modify models in modeling software. First of all, clean your file with the purge option. Extra lines and rank surfaces should be cleared. Remove extra parts of the model that are not seen in the render. Don't use objects with very large file size in a model and try to reduce segments as much as possible. And there are some plugins and options in 3D software that help you with this. In SketchUp, you can use CleanUp and Eskim plugin to optimize your model. In the Revit, the Surface Smoothing option helps you to reduce segments. And in 3D Max, use the Pro Optimizer modifier before exporting model to Lumion. Number 7. Not using some of Lumion features. Some Lumion features make Lumion very slow. So if your system is not very good or you want to save time, minimize the use of these features. 3D Grass. This material is very realistic, but my suggestion is not using this for large surfaces. Instead of this, you can use landscape grass that is so much faster. Dynamic Shadow. Another thing you can consider is the number of spotlights have dynamic shadow in a scene. Only use this shadow when it's essential. Instead of that, you can set shadow quality of lighting to normal. When you are rendering a scene with lots of spotlights, this trick helps you to save so much time. Displacement. Use this Lumion feature only for the main materials that are in front of your eyes. Using this feature in the materials that are far away or their displacement is not visible only makes rendering time longer.